Pharaoh, he believed that he's God himself. He himself is a God. So it is not God who closed his eyes from seeing the truth. And here we are speaking about your God is acting as Satan. And this is why cowardly, you don't dare to say to me, the Bible was corrupted by the will of Allah or against his will. You know what? I will make the question easier. Do you hear me, guys? Is my voice clear? Okay. Do your God Allah knew that the Bible he sent is going to be corrupted? I think this question now is easy. You have no excuse to say I'm not going to answer. Do he knew that the Bible he sent it's going to be corrupted? Either you say yes, he knew, or you say he don't. You're fine. Praise God, I mean, allow me to que answer the question. Now listen, just because God knows in his foreknowledge, yes, he did know he's be, it was going to be corrupted. He's the Almighty. At the end, we were able to get an answer. Hallelujah. So Allah, he knew that the Bible will be corrupted, right? Now, this is, what, this is the question. Why Allah did not protect his book? Your mind. He knew, but he did not protect which means he sent it to be corrupted, which means this is by was his by, by his will. Correct, guys? If Allah, he knew that this book would be corrupted, and he sent it to be corrupted, it means it was his will. Because simply, if he want, he can stop the corruption. He knew what will happen. He knew those people, they will not keep the book. He knew they are not good. He, he knew they are not the one to trust. Even though, he decided to send the book to be corrupted. It means Allah is part of the corruption because he sent it to be corrupted. He knew it's going to happen and he did nothing about it simply because he don't care. Correct? No mind. Now, I see, see how he bats me because he, he realizes I have his back against the wall. Now, did not God know that Adam was going to fall? So does that mean that it was his will? Did he not know? This is in Christianity. In Christianity, we have a free will. You don't. You don't. I can show you from your prophet. He said that when you are in your mother womb, and angels will come to you, when you are 40 days in your mother womb, they will whisper to you your destiny, your happiness, your sadness, your death, your life, your marriage, your wealth, and even your religion, which means it's made and decided by Allah. Do you want me to show you the reference, Mr. Islam? You mind? What I'm saying is, you keep God doubting me because you know I'm going to show that you're inconsistent. What I'm saying is this did not God know enough his foreknowledge that Adam or Eve and Eve was going to sin? Does that mean that he was part of that? Be consistent. That's what I'm asking. He is part of their creation, but he is not the one who taught them what they did. In your religion, he is the one who made everything happen that way. God knowing about our things we will do doesn't make him part of it. Because simply, it is not something he did. It is what we did. When we talk about the Bible, we are talking about something he did. This is his book. He is the one who said it. He is the one who sent it. This is, he is the one he should have protected. He is the writer, he is the author, he is the provider, and he is the protector. When Allah is creating you as a man, as a human, he is creating you, and supposedly, if you have a free will, he will let you go. And you do whatever you want. Islam don't believe in this. Islam believe that there is only one religion, it is the religion of Allah, and everything will happen is according to Allah orders. Now, let us go to reference, because in here you are wasting my time and your time. Do you want me to show you your prophet saying that everything in your life as a human will go by the will of Allah? Only, no one else. From before your birth, before you exist, even in your mother womb, do you accept or you don't? Your mind. Once again, I'm actually be consistent. In the book of Jeremiah, did not God tell Jeremiah that he knew him before he was born? 
What are you saying? You're not proving any point. You see, Islam, you are so coward to answer. We told you for sure God, he knew that he was before before, before I was born. And before 10,000 from year, God, he knew what would happen. You know, please, let us speak smart. Don't be, don't be a dummy. I'm asking you a very specific question, and you are scared to answer. Is it true in Islam, it's, you say, that everything the Muslims do, it is by the will of Allah. Which means, before, and by the way, I'm going to support what I say. What I say from your Islamic reference. You see how coward you are? You are giving me speeches. You will say to me in the Bible, God, he knew. For sure he knew. Christianity is not Islam, sir. In Islam, you have no free will. You believe in Al-Qadr, destiny. Do you want me to show you? And I am sure you are, I'm not calling you names, by the way, but this is how, how you are. In Islam, one of the most important things or columns in Islam, to believe in Al-Qadr. Al-Qadr. Khayrahu wa sharrahu. In the front of the room, if I provide definition from Islamic books, from your prophet himself, explain to us what Al-Qadr mean. Are you going to accept or you will play the game again? I'm sure you will not. In Islam, listen, in Islam, you are the slave of Allah. And a slave means you have no choice to be or not to be. Which means Allah is the one who decides what you will be, what you will do, what you will act what you will eat, when you will die, when you will live, what sin you will do, and not only that. Your prophet, he said, listen to this, and I can show you the reference, that in every Muslim woman's vagina, it is written the name of the one who will do the F word to her in her vagina. This is how the destiny of Muslim men and women written in the book of God and even in the Muslim women's vagina. And you are telling me about a free will. If the names of the one who will have sex with the Muslim women is written around her vagina, he is the one who decides. Your mind. All right, I'd like to talk. And, and without you interrupting me, Christian friends, if it's your room, I will kindly walk away. And you can... Uh, have your uh, mascot here. Uh, you, you've made so many false statements, it's unbelievable. Uh, first off, my own religion, which I won't speak of right now because I just don't want to give it up. I will before I end. Uh, Anybody even want to my Christian Prince? I don't know why you're afraid. You continue to red dot people when people are willing to expose your double standards. Allow Casey to speak on the mic. Your mic, Casey. You see, Islam, you are a coward. You want to run, right? You think he will save your ass? He just said he wanna. Re he don't want to reveal his religion. A religion, it is a secret. There is nothing to debate about. He don't want to say what his religion is. Maybe his religion is an underwear. So, if you want to say to me he's a Muslim, he is more than welcome. Are you a Muslim, Casey? You're mine. And I consider this, Mr. Islam, the way you backed up and you covered. You don't want to continue, right? So, you are asking Casey to save your ass. I understand. Correct, guys? Because why you don't want to talk no more? James, James, he's a Christian. He's waking. His hand is up for an hour. Now, suddenly, you want somebody else to talk, not you, because you are in the corner. Because I'm going to show you that it is written in the mother of every Muslim man vagina, the one who will sleep with her. Written by Allah, decided by Allah, made the plan for it by Allah. Proofs, reference, not speeches. Now listen, Casey is out. So you have no choice. You're right. I want you to explain to us, please, 
And right now, I'm going to post reference. And guess what? 